Welcome to the first video in a new series that Rachel and I are going to do about EV charging. In this series, we're going to cover charging at home. We're going to cover public charging at level two. We're going to cover DC fast charging, let you know a little bit about different charging networks. And we're going to use both of our EVs when possible to show you how the cars react. Today, for our first charging episode, we're going to go to a Volta level two public charger that is offered for free. Well, it is a beautiful November day, and Luke, Fiona, and I are here at the Cleburne Cinema 6 Movie Theater to show you how we can plug in free to the Volta Charger. We have both the Chevy Volt and the Fiat 500e here with us today. We're going to plug in both of them and show you how they react to the Volta Charger. So before we do, I'm going to start by giving you some stats. Right now, the Fiat's at a 70.98% state of charge. It has a very small battery pack, so it, it, we left pretty full. Uh, ambient temperature right now is 70 degrees outside. The battery pack is at 77 degrees outside, and even though the car is just it's not running and the key is on, it's drawing uh, three tenths of a kilowatt right now. So uh, let's go ahead and plug in. So of course I don't have to scan anything, I don't have to press any buttons, I just plug in and it immediately starts charging. Okay, so I'm setting a timer for 10 minutes. Well, actually let me cancel that. 10 minutes is, that we're gonna stay plugged in and that timer's going now. Let me go back to car scanner and see where we're at. So right now, the charger is delivering uh, almost four kilowatts. There we go, there, there's four kilowatts. And we're gonna keep an eye on the amount of power delivered and uh, the battery temperature while we're here. We're gonna look at our Volta charger here in Cleburne, Texas. This is at a Cinema 6 movie theater. And these are here at movie theaters. They are free to the user at the movie theater. Um, and they're paid for by ads. But the way it works is you roll up, you can plug your electric car in, let it sit there and charge while you're watching your movie. You get up to three hours and then you come out unplugged. There's no need to press any buttons. You don't have to uh, register with anything. You just plug in and when you're done, you can leave. Okay, so what I have up here on the screen is the, uh, is the Volta app. Now, you don't have to scan anything, you don't have to start an account to be able to use this, but we could report an issue if we wanted. This uh, app is now showing that charger number one, which is the one that we're at, is currently in use. Uh, it doesn't really have us say how long we're going, but it says charging cost free, which is cool. We have been charging now for about four minutes, a little over four minutes. And going back to car scanner, the charger is delivering uh, four, a little over four kilowatts. It's fluctuating between 4.2 and 4.3. Uh, battery temperature isn't going up. It's staying at a steady 77 degrees. Our state of charge is up to 72.16%. Great. I also want to point out that this particular movie theater does have two of these Volta chargers. There's only one plug per unit, and they each do have dedicated parking spaces specifically for the EV car. It says EV charging only. This is number one, and the one over there <laughs> is number two. I have never seen another car charging here ever. Uh, I don't come every day, but I've, I see it fairly regularly and I've, I've never seen another car in one of these. Of course, we're in a small rural town in Texas and EVs are not particularly popular here. All right, we're getting into our last uh, 10 seconds of charge. Let's uh, check in with car scanner. We're at 74.5%, timer just went off. So we picked up a little over three and a half percent in 10 minutes. Um, we're still right around four kilowatts. And so now Rachel, why don't you go ahead and unplug? While she's doing that, I'll mention, you know, the battery pack didn't move. It's still 77 degrees. So Fiat's unplugged. Now we're gonna go see, now we'll see, uh, we'll move the cars around and see how the Bolt uh, reacts to this charger. All right, so we've moved the cars around and um, going into car scanner, uh, switching the cars from the garage to our bolts and going to uh, get it, I got to get it connected into the dongle 
and then I'll be able to give you some, the dog is trying to trip me, uh, get you some stats. So right now, um, I've got an ambient air temperature. This one's reading at 80 degrees, and it's the same day. <laughs> uh, the car is on running climate control right now, but the, it's, it's not on for propulsion. And it's uh, right now using about a kilowatt. Battery temp is 73.4 degrees. And let's plug in and start the 10 minute timer on the bolt. Okay, we've got a connection. I heard it click. Car just beeped. And charging is ramping up around three kilowatts, three and three quarters, four and a half, 4.9, 5.2, 5.8, 6.7. Seven point eight, starting to level off just a tick under eight kilowatts. So this car is taking power at twice the rate that the Fiat was off of the exact same charger. Just a couple of minutes later, in is basically the same environmental conditions, and roughly the same battery temperature. That's because the onboard charger in the Fiat maxes out at a little over six kilowatts and the onboard charger for level two charging in the bolt maxes out at about 11. So the bolt can take uh, power better. We just, we went a little over eight kilowatts there. One of the things that I noticed while we're sitting here, we're maybe about four minutes into our 10 minute charge here on the bolt is the, those of you who know electricity are gonna make, it's gonna make sense to you. Um, but if you're not all familiar with uh, electricity and whatnot, when we were plugging in the, the Fiat, the charger was had a current uh, a little bit over 28 amps, which was giving around 4.3 to 4.4 kilowatts to the battery. The Bolt, on the other hand, do a quick check on car scanner, is flirting around 47.8, 48 amps, and it keeps going back and forth, so it's in 7.7 .7 to 8.2 kilowatts going in. So I'm getting more power uh, delivered into this car in the same amount of time, almost twice as fast on a level two charger. So um, if it maintained that eight kilowatt uh, pace while we were plugged into this charger for its three hour time limit, we'd get 24 kilowatts that we'd get for free sitting here. Whereas on the Fiat, it would be more like 50 to 60 percent of the battery in that amount of time so we could get here with a 40 percent charge see a movie and leave fully charged in the fiat and, but we'd have plenty of charge in the in the bolt also to just go wherever we wanted to go all right so we're we're in the last minute get my screen recorder going on my phone again and i'm going to check in with car scanner and see how we're doing the temperature on the battery has not moved at all. It's still at 73.4 degrees. So that's telling me that a level two charger isn't gonna overheat the battery at all, uh, which is good. The current is still uh, right around 48. Our battery pack uh, is up to 45%. Uh, so we've gained 2% state of charge while we're here in this 10 minutes uh, as the, the clock is ticking down. Um, and we're still delivering about eight kilowatts. So even though it's, um, how many percent did we get with the Fiat? Like three, three or four, something like that. We're getting 2%, but that's because this battery is three times the size of the battery in the, in the Fiat. All right, so that was the timer. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug. And as we wrap up uh, this quick little stop at this Volta free charger, just wanna point out it is a J1772 plug. Uh, so it will work with any EV that has a J1772 plug. If you had a J1772 to Tesla adapter, uh, you could plug a Tesla in here. These exist at uh, movie theaters. They're, they're popping up at movie theaters all around the area. They're popping up at shopping malls. The Parks Mall in Arlington has like 10 of these units spread out around the, around the mall. Uh, and when we were there on Mother's Day, those chargers in the parking garage were pretty busy. So, download a Volta app, find where the Volta chargers are. They're free, they're paid for by ads. See, you've got a nice ad for Coca-Cola here, and that Coca-Cola paid for our electricity right now. Thanks, so, I, I love having a corporation pay for it. 
Thanks for watching.